So we have told the principal secretary to go to go and tell the president that next week shall be back here. And if there is no justice for the victims, they're going back to the streets. If there is no justice, you're going back to the streets. And we know very well that it's our right to protest. It's not a favor by the president. It's a right by the constitution. And you're going to do it. If the president cares about this country, he should care about these mothers who are here. He claims no one has been abducted. We have a list of those being abducted. Welcome back to Havana Media. My name is Bonfeso Wino, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've, had, I've read something that William Ruto was. Uh, I've had something that William Ruto was saying, and I would like to to read it. Is going to be our main topic of discussion in this video. William Ruto is saying that Kenyan set very high standards for me. Good is not good enough. They only believe in excellence. That's why sometimes when I am doing something good, they still push me. Sometimes with a little demonstration that you are not doing as much as we told you to do. So William Ruto is saying that all these demonstrations that uh, Kenyans are doing, like the demonstrations, the teachers are on strike, you know, doctors on strike. Right now, Gen Z's are on the, on the street demonstrating. All these things Kenyans are doing because they are saying that William Ruto is not doing, and that Kenyans want William Ruto to do more. Are you seeing? That is what William Ruto is saying, that all these de demonstrations that Kenyans are doing, they're doing it simply because they're feeling like it's not good enough. Like, President, we told you to do this, but what you're doing is not, okay, you are doing the right thing. That is what he's trying to say, that Kenyans normally tell him that, okay, President, you're doing the right thing, but the, the right thing that you're doing is not good enough. Do more than that. Do, you can do better. In short, you can do better. In fact, not, that, well, that one connects with what happened yesterday. Yesterday, Bonface Mwangi, people like Hanifa, went to the pre to president's office. They, they, were, they went to present the names of the people that lost their lives during the demonstration. And one thing I say, this, and I keep on saying this, and I will not fail to say this. I will say it over and over again, that our Kenyan policemen are being used, are being used very badly, and they should st find ways of styling up. Because there is no way someone is coming peacefully. People are coming peacefully. They have got nothing. They're doing nothing. They don't have, they've, they've not even carried any, any, any sharp objects. They're not, they're not even making noise. They're just there peacefully demonstrating. And then you end up trying to arrest them. Simply, and these policemen in mask without uniform, these men, are, these people are not policemen. Even if they're policemen, they're thugs. Because how do you, how do you, exp how do you explain this video, by the way? What have we done? What have we done? What is the problem? What is the problem? Are we not Kenya? What is the problem? Seriously. <laughs> Kenyans have been being murdered, disappeared, tortured, disembodied, disfigured. And today, after many different attempts by all sorts of different organizations, activists, individuals, civil society, today when we finally are able to give a list of names, Tunambiwa, oh Asante, come on bao walikwa hawajui. Come about his story, they're not online, there's no videos, there's no footage. This list, these names have been circulating, burials have been aired. You can see point blank people being shot as well as the murderers. So how is it that three months later we're here asking what concrete actions have been being taken? Not what false promises are you going to give us today? What actions have already been being taken towards accountability, towards justice? But the answer is absolutely nothing. Nothing has been done, not even empathy. Today we had to, after the families 
the siblings, the representatives of those who have been murdered and who are still missing, after they all introduce themselves with their story, there's zero empathy, there's complete impunity, there's complete disregard of the lives, of the needs of the citizens. And today, as we finally get these names given, as if Hawaku Jua Tayari, as if Hawaku Banga, as if Hawaku Fanya Hivo Wenyewe, we're told that we need to protect ourselves better. So those who have been murdered, point blank, Mama, Watoto, Vijana, Wanambiwa, Ninini Ambao Murikosea, when you go out, you should protect yourself. We came here as 20 people today and we were met by 40, 30 officers, masked, armed, abusive, with, with an appointment. And then, Nisisi Tunambiwa Tunafakuji protect. What is the government doing? What We know what it's doing. It's not serving its people, it's not protecting its people, and it's not fulfilling its mandate. We should be protected in our constitutional right to come out in protest. If we cannot even come to an appointment to safely deliver a message, how do we expect? Oh, it's clear, we don't expect, we, we expect nothing. It's very clear that there's no leadership, there's no competence, there's no capacity. It's murder, it's theft, and it's impunity. And we won't stand for that. Tumechoka, tangu zamani. So ndio tunaanza na tutendelea until we see better leadership, different leadership in this country, justice, accountability, and integrity. Thank you. So we came here today because we had an appointment with the Office of the President, to present a list. Uh, we came with the families with one agenda, asking for justice for the victims, for the disappeared, and accountability. But we were met with brutality and violence by the police. It's been three months since the protest, and we still have masked police in our streets. Why are they being masked in the streets? We are asking our government, if the police are upholding rule of law, why are they coming masked? And why are they targeting me specifically? So we have told the principal secretary to go to go and tell the president that next week shall be back here. And if there's no justice for the victims, they're going back to the streets. If there's no justice, you're going back to the streets. And we know very well that it's our right to protest. It's not a favor by the president. It's a right by the constitution. And you're going to do it. If the president cares about this country, he should care about these mothers who are here. He claims no one has been abducted. We have a list of those being abducted. We have shared the list. He promised compensation for the victims. We know very well that money can never bring back any life. But if you promise compensation, it can at least help the families to pay for bills and to move on in a small way. So we're asking for compensation for the victims. We're asking for justice. And we demand for the firing of the officers who murdered innocent citizens. The crime scene is parliament. Parliament has CCTV cameras. We know very well those cameras are working on the day of the protest. We demand that the government make that footage public. City Hall has CCTV footage of the, what happened there. Make that public. Supreme Court, because we know very well, on June 25th, there were criminals who were in the streets. Criminals paid by politicians. And they came because they were paid. And their financials are known. They've never been arrested. Listen, the president is a coward because every other day he's insulted by other people on top of vehicles. And he doesn't do anything. But when we come to the streets, protected by the Constitution, he comes after us. Why is he after innocent people? If he's a man enough, if he's not a murderer, go after the killers of the innocent people, go after the people who sponsored the violence in the streets. Because none of us, none of the people who were murdered, none of the people who are in the streets on that particular day who are here today, were involved in the prisoners' action. So we feel victimized by the government. And all you're asking is, Mr. President, if you're unable to lead us, you must resign. Yes, because we can't live in a, in a in constant violence. Every day we've been arrested, we've been abducted, we've been murdered. If we're unable to uphold the constitution, if we're unable to lead this country through the rule of law, we're asking for you to resign. It's not a must to lead us. It's not a must for him to lead us. Because you say this, and you said this before, you cannot kill us and lead us. You cannot do that. Kamu machine on a kazi, and a nyumbani. I know you can go to Sugoi and Okayoko. By the way, Go retire with Rachel and your grandkids. This country has 54 million Kenyans. You're not the only one who can lead us. They should all go. This government is a government of murderers. We're asking for them, if they cannot give us justice, compensation, accountability, they resign en masse. He should never forget that. Even the guys who arrested us today, 
these people in uniform here today, all of them work for us. Let us not forget who is the boss. We are the bosses. And next week, if they do not respond to our demands, we are back in the streets. We are coming back to the streets. By force, by fire, we are back in the streets. Come on, Akutu, Akutu, Tuwe, Buruto, Basi. How do you explain such kind of video? Like, this video, how do you explain it? You want to arrest someone. What has he done? What did Bonfis Mwangi do that, that, that deserved this arrest? Simply because they came to talk about the, the death, they, they presented the names of the people that died. And then the president is telling us that Kenyans normally like demonstrating, while they demonstrate by telling us, by telling me that what you're doing, you are doing the right thing, but it's not good enough. Our president is the one, of, and, and uh, according to the statistics says that uh, since July, Mr. President have said 5,000 lies. I think it's even more than 5,000 lies. So the only thing that William Ruto can say is, uh, the only truthful thing that William Ruto can say is his name. That is according to people. Like this one is just a lie. At, like Kenyans, Ke Kenyans, Kenyans feel like what I'm doing is not good enough. According to Ken Kenyans, places high demand. Which high demand? Which high demand are Kenyans telling William Ruto? Like, if Kenyans say that we don't want this, is that high demand, high standard? Like, you're bringing something that Kenyans do not Like, you brought the finance bill. People say that we don't want the finance bill. Okay. You dropped it. You are bringing high taxation. Kenyans are saying that we don't want that. Being that we don't want and adjust on this, those are two different things. So the president is saying that we are putting high standards. Like, did we send you to go to Germany? Did we send you to go to China? Did we send you to go to, to go to United Kingdom? We did not. So why are you telling us? Why are you going there to spoil our name by saying that we are, we are setting high standards? That is a lie. So I don't know. I don't know what you are going to do with this president because every day, every and I say this thing that every now and then when we wake up in the morning, we have to we, we have to listen. We have to hear that the demonstration here and there something has happened, but things are not changing. Things are not changing. We are trying, but things are not changing. After all, guys, that is all for today. Let me also know what you think in the comment section. But just a reminder, if you have for the first time, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. You can also like, share, and drop me a comment. And tell me what you think and where you are watching these videos from. Until we meet again, I've been your host, Bonfessorino. Bye-bye.